Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install ROS2 Humble on the Raspberry Pi using Ubuntu 22.04.5 LTS. No compiling, no Docker, just a clean binary you can install and get ROS running on your Raspberry Pi. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. So what is ROS for those of you guys who don't know? Well, ROS simply stands for Robot Operating System. It's a framework that gives your robots a brain with packages for perception, control, navigation, and more. So whether you're building an autonomous drone or a line following car, ROS2 gives you the tools you need to build complex robots very quickly. For this video, I am going to use the Raspberry Pi 4B running Ubuntu 22.04.5 64-bit. You can use other models too, such as the 5 or the 3. Just make sure you're on 64-bit version. Version. So before we get on the Raspberry Pi, you just want to make sure you have the appropriate Ubuntu operating system to actually install ROS2. Most people use the traditional Raspberry Pi operating system, but we actually want to change that to Ubuntu 22.04.5 to be able to install this. So if you have the SD card from your Raspberry Pi and you haven't done this already, please be sure to take it out and attach it to your computer. Make sure you have the Raspberry Pi imager installed so you can install this from the Raspberry Pi website. It's just an application that easily allows you to install operating systems on the SD card for the Raspberry Pi. And once that is attached, and your Raspberry Pi imager is open, you can just go ahead and select the appropriate device. So mine is Raspberry Pi 4. Once that's selected, we just want to select the operating system. So as opposed to these guys, which are more traditional, we just want to go down. We want to go to other general purpose OS. We want to go to Ubuntu, and we want to go to 22.04.5 LTS. And once that is selected, we can just go and choose the storage. Now mine is already installed and and attach my Raspberry Pi. If you see your SD card here, you should go ahead and select it. And once your SD card is selected, you can go ahead and install the operating system. It will take a bit of time because it's a full operating system. Depending on the speed of your internet, it could take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. So just be patient with that. And once that's done, let's hop on the Raspberry Pi and install ROS2. Okay, so now that we have the latest operating system installed or the operating system we need actually, we can go ahead and insert the SD card on our Raspberry Pi, boot it up, go ahead and log in and open a terminal app as you see here. And we just want to go ahead and run some commands so we can install ROS2. First things first, we just want to run sudo apt update. And so this simply fetches the latest packages list. So this is not a full upgrade to the operating system. So go ahead and run this. First, it will take a bit. And so simply let that run to completion. Okay, now that it has been updated, we can simply go ahead and install curl. So I noticed this operating system does not come with curl, which we need to install. So this is just a, a library that allows us to install the package from GitHub. So sudo apt install curl. So go ahead and enter that. Should be quick to install curl. Now, once we have curl, we can go ahead and add the ROS GPG key. This will verify the package from the ROS2 repository. So I have this command I wrote earlier. Now, these are kind of long commands. So everything that you see in this terminal will be in my blog in the description down below if you do not feel like writing all these down at shillatech.com. So we're going to run this curl command, and this simply verifies the packages from their official repository. So go ahead and enter that. And once we have that command written down, we can go ahead and run another command, which tells your Pi where to get the ROS2 packages from Ubuntu Jammy. So we're going to add the ROS2 repository. So I'm just going to scroll up because I ran these commands earlier. So that is this echo command. So let me go ahead and actually move my camera thing here. So let me go ahead and move that. So you guys can see that. I'll move it to the top there. And go ahead and click enter now on this command. And once again, once we have this repository added and apt knows where it is, we just want to go ahead and run sudo apt update again just for good practice. So let that run. Okay, so now that we ran update again, we can simply install the ROS Humble Desktop. So we can just go and run this next command, which I have here that I ran earlier, and this will simply install it. Now, I recommend you install the desktop version. There is a base version, but if you want tools like RViz and demos, I recommend you install this version. We can go ahead and click enter. I already installed it, it should be quick. If it's your first time, it will take a while. So let that download to completion. And finally, once you see that it is downloaded, we can go ahead and actually source this to make sure it is working properly. So first, let's go ahead and source it. And this will allow us to run ROS commands. We can do source opt ROS humble setup dot bash. And once we have sourced, this environment will allow us to run those ROS commands, as I mentioned. So we can run this first command in one terminal, this talker command. Okay, so we'll go ahead and run this next command, talker. So let that run in one terminal, and then in another terminal, we can run ROS2 run demo CP listener. So that is a, 
in another terminal. So we'll go ahead and do this. Let's do new window. And we could just do ROS2. Sorry, that is a little small. Okay, ROS2. And that is run demos, demo nodes, CPP listener. Okay. So that should be it. And we'll go ahead and click enter there. And it should. Oh, see, I didn't even source it. So I, I did the mistake in this terminal where I did not source the actual the setup.bash. So go ahead and source that quick. I have to I'm just write the command here, uh, ROS, and that is humble, and that is setup.bash. OK, so go ahead and click Enter there. So we did source it. And now we can go ahead and run that listener command. So once that is done, we should see I heard. So if the listener is receiving messages, you are good to go. It looks like we installed ROS2 successfully on the Raspberry Pi. And that's it. ROS2 is now installed and ready on your Raspberry Pi. If you want to go a step further, like controlling GPIO motors or sensors, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see. Probably some more ROS videos coming on this channel. So be sure to stay tuned for that. If this video helped you, please be sure to like this video. And if you want to see more IoT or robotics content, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for me for future videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next tutorial.